Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing on this channel is after every week in the NFL, I'm going to do like a breakdown or an analysis on what happened to keep you updated. And not just the NFL, but mostly because that's what I watch. But I'll do other big sporting events too. And so let's get to it. First, we have winners and losers of the week. Uh, for your winners, Kansas City Chiefs, they go into Foxborough, beat the New England Patriots 42-27. Uh, to That's a very big one because, well, many people thought the Patriots could go undefeated this year, even better than they were last year, but apparently not. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they win 29-7 to over the Texans, and that's big because the Jaguars, we all know they struggled last year, so it's important for them to start start good new fresh season they go one and zero. then you have the los angeles rams they get a very dominating 46 to 9 win over the colts so their offense looking very good and then lastly for your winners we have the dallas cowboys 19 to 3 win over the giants uh very good in my opinion because that is the one team they could not beat last year but they get it done this year and then now for your losers we have obviously the Patriots supposed to go 16-0, but not going to happen with a 42-27 loss at home. Then we have the Jets, the Bears, the Browns, the Colts, and the 49ers, all teams that we know struggled a lot last year and in prior years. And they all go 0-1 this year, so it may be another long season. And then that is it for your losers. So... Now we have fantasy football. So for any of you who do fantasy football, I know I do. Um, this will just, I'll do every week the highest score from each position to keep you updated so you can try and pick them up to help out your team. So your week one quarterback, Alex Smith from Kansas City Chiefs, 31 points. Your running back, also from the Chiefs, rookie Kareem Hunt, Scoring 40.6 points, had a very good game. Your top wide receiver, Stephon Diggs from the Vikings, scoring 20.7 points. Then your kicker, Giorgio Tavecchio, I have no idea. A kicker from Oakland with 19 points. And then your defense, you actually had a tie with the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Los Angeles Rams. They both scored 28 points. And your tight end from Atlanta, Austin Hooper, with 18.8 points. And now, for injuries, every week I'll keep you updated with injuries. So, so this is important. So you can just keep stay, stay updated and fantasy football. If you have anybody, you can drop them. So, first, Jacksonville Jaguars star wide receiver, Allen Robinson. He goes down with a torn ACL. Then Arizona Cardinals running back, arguably the best running back in the NFL, David Johnson. He suffered a wrist injury, and he did not return to the game. And also offensive tackle DJ Humphreys. He was carted off with a knee injury. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers defensive end Stephon Tuitt. He had just signed a $61 million contract on Saturday, and he's feared to have torn biceps. So he had an MRI on Monday. Don't know how that went. Um, Dallas Cowboys. Cornerback Orlando Scandrick suffered a fractured left hand, so they don't know how long that will be yet. Uh, 49ers first round pick, Reuben Foster from Alabama. That's always a big blow to lose your first round pick. He uh, uh, suffered what appeared to be a lower leg injury, but he should be fine because he wanted to continue playing last week, so he should be good for this week. Then you have Philadelphia Eagles corner Ronald Darby. He suffered an ankle injury and was ruled out for the remainder of the game. So I don't know how long that injury extension may be. And then this is huge. Chicago Bears wide receiver Kevin White. He has had injuries since he's been drafted. Never really got into the system. They're hoping this would be his year. But he had what they fear to be a season-ending broken collarbone. And then we have Baltimore Ravens running back Danny Woodhead. He was looking very good before he suffered a hamstring injury and did not return, so that's a big blow. And then Houston Texans linebacker Brian Cushing, he was evaluated for a concussion. And that is it for injuries, so uh, thank you, and see you next week.